Alright guys, so it's been a while since we actually updated the cookies that I personally believe that you guys should definitely be investing in right now, especially for the epic cookies. So here we go guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about 5 of the cookies that you guys should definitely be investing in, and you guys should be looking long term. But here we go, first of all, starting off, it's going to be fitness here cookies. So I know a lot of people might be having a mixed feeling about her, and might seem like I just included her just because she is available right now in the feature banner. Um, you know, in certain cases it can be, however, in her case, right, Financier Cookie actually has a really unique skill. So although you guys might say, hey, it only targets one cookie, but that one cookie is your main DPS, right? So the biggest thing, the biggest problem that most players face is that, you know, their DPS or their, you know, cookie with the strongest power usually dies, not only inside of the arena, but also the story mode as well. And Financier Cookie really solves that problem or at least helps with that problem, right? Not only does she target that cookie specifically or Cloud of Cream cookie if he is in your team, but she also is going to be healing that certain cookie. She's going to be giving that cookie damage resist, okay, as well as crit resist, and that both of those are going to be 20%. And then she is also going to be giving an attack boost, and she's also going to be giving a shield. All right, that's separate from an actual shield. So it's an actual specific shield called light shield, right? That's separate from normal shields that we get from Eclair as well as pure vanilla. And on top of that, she does do damage according to how much damage that shield takes. And also, you got to keep in mind that all the buffs that she's getting or she's giving out is going to be up 100% of the time as long as she is alive and is able to cast her spell every 15 seconds all right but majority of the time she's going to cast a lot faster because you have the jelly watch right so pretty much she is going to be one of the best tanks as well as best uh you know just support unit that you can really have inside of your team and i mean by support means like buffers and you know just uh doing her job or role as somebody who is going to support a cookie right so she's a frontline support defense cookie all right so she definitely is unique in her own ways especially because of that and that's why she's so good right now inside of the arena being able to work great with espresso vampire clotted cream even see fairy and frost queen in some of the cases so i uh, definitely recommend you guys do build her and it is the best time to build her uh because she is going to be inside of that feature banner and also for the toppings i would recommend five of the solid almond uh you know extra cooldown definitely helps so that you guys can use the light shield as much as possible or as many times as possible and also just focusing on the damage resist as well as the crit resist is going to be the best thing for her moving on to the next two cookies i'll say uh without a doubt no brainer is going to be eclair as well as our cotton all right so cotton and eclair has been dominating the arena for a very long time ever since the december as well as the january update i'll say they are just kind of always inside of your team whether it be the arena uh, guild boss battle world exploration or not you definitely need to be investing in content and eclair if you guys have the opportunity to do so and if you guys do not have them and you have spare mileage points these are certain cookies that i do definitely recommend you guys actually build because of how strong they are all right not only is content going to be doing so much more uh than just being a healing support she's also going to be damaging uh she's going to be able to tank with the sheep as well as she's going to be able to increase um you know the attack of seven units as well as heal so she just does so much other stuff uh than just healing like normal uh support cookies and on top of that eclair is also going to be a very good choice for you guys because he is the only cookie right now who's going to be able to have that weakness debuff right every stack of weakness debuff which is stackable up to four times is going to be increasing the damage that you guys deal to the enemy by 25%. So pretty much at four stats in majority of the boss stages, uh, you know, he's going to allow your cookies to deal extra 100% damage which means that you're basically dealing 200% of your damage so you got to realize this is going to be amazing and on top of that he does do a ton of damage and provide shield if the enemies are defeated so without a doubt it's a no-brainer guys if you guys have eclair as well as content level them up if you guys do not have them i would say buying them with the mileage points is going to be the best idea for you guys and for the toppings for eclair as well as cotton they're going to be using five of the swift chocolate uh focusing on damage resist as well as extra cooldown are going to be the main goal for you guys when you guys are setting them up 
and the next cookie is going to be Wallberry. Wallberry, without a doubt, is also very, very strong right now. But I would say that Financier has a chance to kind of go against Wallberry. Not in the damage output standpoint, but at least in the tanking standpoint, I would say Financier's cookie is not a bad replacement for Wallberry if you guys do not have Wallberry or, you know, just didn't have the opportunity to pull Wallberry. All right, so I would say Wallberry is an amazing cookie. Still going to be a top top rated cookie all right but i would say you know in certain cases if you guys do not have wildberry financier can uh take the place of wildberry uh just don't expect financier to do that much damage compared to wildberry cookie but uh you know they're gonna be amazing and five of the solid almond for wildberry is gonna be a thing mega punch constant stun 15 percent damage resist for all the cookies during the battle rage uh and you know it's just gonna be so good uh for a lot of different players especially the newer players as well uh, and he is very very tanky as well so he is going to be one of the best tanks uh, DPS tanks I would say that you guys can definitely invest in right now alright guys now moving on to the fifth cookie on my list is going to be vampire cookie so you guys might be wondering why is espresso not in it why is uh, sorbet not in it okay um, you know I can't put everything, right? Of course, they are amazing cookies, and I will. I was going to actually include them in the honorable mention in the back, but, you know, Vampire Cookie right now is just so good, and it's kind of like Eclair, all right, or Constant. Vampire is being used in a lot of different game modes, and I believe that it is going to be definitely worth for you guys to actually start investing in Vampire Cookie if you guys haven't done so. And if you guys have already invested in Vampire Cookie, then start investing in the Magic Candy. Alright, not only is he going to be amazing with the magic candy, he's actually going to be using all of the game modes pretty much, guys. Guild boss battle, he's actually shredding it right now. In the arena, he's absolutely dominating it. Uh, in the world aspiration, if you guys do use him, he's also going to be really, really good, especially in boss stages. Uh, I would say probably better than Sorbet now, right? Uh, without a doubt. And even in the Cookie Alliance, you know, and all the other modes that you guys have, pretty much Vampire Cookie is inside of it. Alright, so I will have to say, right now, the goal for you guys should definitely be investing in Vampire Cookie, at least up to level 50, so that you guys have the opportunity to create this Magic Candy, which is absolutely going to be broken here, guys. Extra damage, extra damage over time, as well as you're going to be able to do a 100% crit if you guys use that skill two times. And honestly, using Vampire Cookie's skill two times is not that hard because it is only a 13 second cooldown, right? Uh, and especially if you guys get it up to plus 10, the ability to revive as well as cast a spell right away and being invulnerable is just so valuable, right? It can clutch uh, for your arena, it can clutch for your world expiration if you have to, you know, it could clutch in a lot of different standpoints as well as deal just extra damage uh, so without a doubt right now out of the all three magic candies i would say vampire cookie is the most valuable as well as the most uh you know worth right now and then i would say it's espresso and then purple yam but yeah without a doubt right now guys definitely invest in vampire cookie he's going to be amazing five of the Syrian raspberry is going to be his default build uh in majority of the cases focusing on the attack crit uh, and things like that but if you guys are planning to use him inside of the arena or the story mode then giving him damage resist is going to be also very very important all right guys and like i said uh honorable mention are going to be this you know our espresso with the magic candy is amazing right now uh, you know the injury as well as stun if you guys do get it up to plus 10 is going to be something that you know we all wanted espresso to have uh the extra buff as well as it, it kind of makes it uh you know, Sea Fairy or different version of Sea Fairy. And some people even say it's Sea Fairy uh, 2.0, but I would say, you know, it's a different version of Sea Fairy and the damage output is going to be ridiculous. All right. So I would say, you know, if you guys have the opportunity to make two magic candies, then go with espressos as well and then level them up to 50 to create that magic candy and start investing in him. Um, he's amazing inside of the arena right now. He's amazing inside of some of the master mode inside of world exploration. And he's just going to be a very great cookie to use um, and you know the stun injury is very unique uh, to a cookie so just keep it, that in mind I would say if you guys have the opportunity to level espresso and have the ability as well as the resources to create second magic candy then going for espresso is going to be the best option 
And for espresso, of course, uh, five serum raspberry is going to be the standard build, uh, focusing on damage resist as well as extra cooldown will definitely help. Crit as well as attacks are going to be really good for any DPS. And then talking about Sorbet, Sorbet is also going to be very, very strong. Uh, you know, although Vampire Cookie has retaken the uh, spot of the best boss killer as well as just a uh, best nuker inside of the game, Sorbet is still going to be amazing being able to deal some AoE damage inside of that uh, particular lane or the line that uh, they are going to be jumping in, as well as being able to deal some extra damage and also for the arena, right? Sorbet is the only real one that can deal with all of the tanks very, very, very well. Alright, the true damage that they are able to do is going to be so, so, so valuable right now. And especially where all the arena teams are using triple tank, quad tank, or even, uh, you know, double tank. You know, Sorbet is just going to shred through, chew through all of them. So, I would say Sorbet, if you have the opportunity to, having them on the side is going to be a very, very good option for you guys. Just so that whenever you guys need them. You can always pull them out and just use them all right so i would say the best topping right now are going to be either uh five string raspberry as a default and then of course according to the builds that you guys are going to be following some might use five swift chocolate some might use five solid almond some might use a mixed build and things like that all right but there you guys go a updated list of the five of the epic cookies that i honestly believe that you guys should be investing in right now for pretty much all of the game modes and of course uh three of those guys are still going to be the same cotton eclair as well as our wallberry but i will have to say the other ones that i have mentioned are going to be as valuable and are going to stand in that place for a pretty long time in my opinion uh, so I definitely recommend you guys uh, do build them if you guys have the opportunity to do so. And also if you guys do want to let other people know which cookie that you guys think are going to be worth investing, please leave it down in the comments below and share it with the other viewers. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the other videos that you guys have in front of you guys right now. And I'll see you guys all over there.